Hey guys, Handy Camper here. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I appreciate everybody coming over here. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you click that thumbs up button. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Click that bell for future notifications of uh, when my videos come out, guys. Uh, today, I want to talk about uh, Mac OS Catalina. I am new to Mac OS. I've been a Windows user my whole life, so... Um, and just recently purchased a MacBook Air so I can do... Uh, get involved more with some video produ production and audio production uh, as far as like uh, music recording and stuff like that. So um, I'm a noob at Mac so I'm learning as I go and uh, there's a lot of stuff that is so different than Windows. But um, I've got a 2000 MacBook Air with an i5 processor and um, there's a lot of reviews saying that uh, it's that's not a good option for Mac OS Catalina, but I've never used Mac before, but I'm, i got to tell you, it's, uh, it works pretty fast for me. Uh, people talk about how slow it starts up and everything, but it starts up, it seems to start up pretty fast for me. I'm, I'm used to an, an older Dell uh, i3 processor uh, computer, which was very, very slow, especially like doing uh, multiple programs with a couple windows open and closing, and uh, they took a while to close, and you know, it's just just not as fast as I need it to, to be. But um, I'm going to go ahead and start this up for you guys and let you see how fast it starts up here for you. And uh, so you guys stick around for that. All right, guys, I'm kind of going to do two timers here. I'm going to try my best to get that where you can see. But um, I want to turn the power on, click the start timer real quick. And we're going to do a timer to see how long it takes to get to the very first start screen where you put in your password. And uh, see how long that takes. So here we go. Let's do that. I'm going to click the power button. Click start. Seven or eight seconds. That was, that was pretty fast. Alright, let's reset this. I got the timer reset. And we're going to put in the password here, guys. Get my password going there. Then I'm going to click Enter. And then I'm going to click Start. There we go. And I did when this when I first got this computer, it had El Capitan, El Capitan, on there. I'd say that's pretty quick, under 20 seconds. That's that's pretty fast, and it opens it opens stuff really really fast. Well, there you go, guys. There's a quick start up there. That way you guys can see it. You can see it's the MacBook Air. Early 2015. It's got the 1.6 gigahertz dual core Intel uh, i5. So, I mean, it's not like the super fastest thing. There is, but it's, it works a whole lot faster than what I'm used to, so that's really good. Hey guys, if you've been a, if you've been a uh, Windows user for a long time and you've switched over to Mac OS, and you're, or you're trying Mac, or, or you're just getting started with uh, Mac OS, I am too, so I'll be learning as I go. And if I find out cool little tricks and tips and things like that, I'll probably be posting those as well because uh, I'm learning how to uh, work everything on on the Mac compared to Windows. I'm so used to Windows and everything opens and does stuff so differently. So keep an eye out for the next one. Well there you go guys. Mac OS Catalina startup times on a 2015 MacBook Air i5 processor. Um, if you've been afraid to update to the uh, latest operating system, just give it a shot. Go ahead and give it a shot if you've got those specs or above. 
uh, I don't think you can go wrong. So uh, make sure you click that like button, click that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And as always, plan, prepare, and practice. Handy out.